Welcome to my channel. My name is Mary and today I'll be going over um, basic techniques of skin retouching in Photoshop and I'll be using this um, picture of my year that I took with the uh, iPhone 6s camera and so let's get started with the tutorial today. What I'll do first is I would like to um, cut out some part this down part of this image so I'll um, first convert my image to a smart object so that when I crop it I wouldn't lose any quality any pixel from the image so um, I, I went ahead to right click my layer here and I click convert to smart object okay so now I can crop my image without losing any pixel or any quality all right so i'll go ahead and click on my cropping tool here my crop tool and i'll go ahead and reduce this to the desired size that i want okay i think this is good i click enter so i have my image here so first what i'll do is i want to remove the dark spots here so that at the end of the skin retouching, the skin is going to look even, the dark spots wouldn't show. So what I'll do first is I'll create a new layer. And then I'll go ahead to use my spot healing brush. Okay. Not the healing brush, the spot healing brush. And this will help me remove the spots from the image. Okay. So I'll go ahead and click on the dark spot that I want to remove and then if there is any error there, that's if the spot in the brush didn't do a good job for me, I'll go ahead and make um, further corrections with my healing brush. Okay, so I'll just do this as fast as I can. Just um, few spots because we want to make the image look um, as real as possible. I don't like um, an image looking too photoshopped. Okay, and I can also go down to the chest area and remove some spots there if I like. So I think this is this looks good for me. I don't think I need to use the healing brush okay so I'm going to end. this is perfect I think this area here looks a bit um, not good enough so I'll go ahead and pick my healing brush and I'll click on option or alt and pick um, a skin color here and as you see the brush here has picked the color so I'll just fix it right on some spots that I feel look too light to make it look very very even yeah so just to col correct some discoloration there okay so I think this looks good for me then or I'll go ahead and merge the layers together by clicking control or command on both layers and you can use shortcut command E or you can just right click and merge layers together and make this layer one okay okay so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and duplicate this layer I'll make two copies control J twice and then I'll name this layer the first layer I'll name the first layer tone for my skin tone and I'll name the second layer texture for my skin texture. Okay. Sorry. I wasn't looking. Texture. Okay. So this will be the layers that I'm going to do the adjustment on. Okay. So I'll go ahead and make my texture layer invisible by clicking the eye button there. And then I'll go to my tone layer. I'll click on filter and I'll click on blur and click on Gaussian blur. Okay, and I'm looking for 
the right blow here that will give my image a perfect smoothness okay mm, not too blurry but okay let's let's use um let's see 5.8 or depending on the image you your image might require you go with a higher blur or a lower blur so just go with what works best for your image so with this i'll be using the 6.0 pixel okay that's for the tone so now i'll make the texture layer visible and go back to filter other and eye pass then we'll choose a suitable um eye pass for us that will make this image not too clear let's see 0 0.6 looks good i'll use 0 0.7 okay then go to normal and change this to vivid light i prefer vivid light okay then we'll go ahead and group these layers together the tone and the texture layer you can also merge it if you wish and you can group it if you wish depends on what you want if you think you might still want to make some certain adjustment later it's safer to group it so I'll just click on command and select the two layers and then I'll click on command G to group this layer together then I'm going to click on the layer mask and invert this by clicking command I on the layer mask and this will give us the original image that we have so now to paint the effects in the group on the image we'll make sure our foreground color is white since we want to paint on a black background so we have to make our foreground white. Then we'll select our brush by clicking B or click the brush to here, the brush to. And then we'll go ahead and paint our effects on the image. And as we paint, we'll see the effects immediately. Okay, it's working. All right, so I'll go ahead and paint this. And as we see, the effect is already showing up. The image is already having a smooth effect. And you can increase or decrease your brush by clicking the bracket button on your keyboard. The bracket on the right for increasing and the bracket on the left for decreasing. And you can also use option control shift and swipe to the right to increase and left to decrease the size and up and down to increase or decrease the hardness okay so i'll go ahead and decrease the size and then continue to paint on my image to make sure all the areas is being affected okay so in case um if you don't want if you make a mistake and you don't want some parts to get that effect you can go ahead you can definitely correct that right as you mean you click on the the lips part and um, this is looking so weird and you don't want this you can actually just change your foreground color by clicking this arrow here or you click X on your keyboard and to change that to black to make the effect not visible so you just paint on the area again and the effect will be gone from that area okay and you want to change it back to the white background you click X and continue painting on the image to make sure the effects is everywhere that you want it to be so this is it okay so and if you feel like oh this this image looks too too smooth it doesn't look real you can definitely reduce the opacity 
year you can change the number to 50 and you can also swipe this click on put your um, cursor on the opacity and drag it left to the right to change the figure so if you go to zero you get the original image back and you can gradually increase it to the level that you feel oh this is it this is perfect for me i don't want the image to look overly edited or photoshopped so if you pick, put it at 50 something this is it 60 so you can just change the level of effect on your image okay and you can also go to the body parts and you can also depend on what you want you can also paint the effect there to give your image a more finesse so feel more finesse look okay so this is it you can use this uh, method on any image it's straightforward and you definitely going to get your smooth skin and also you can use this with any image like i didn't use a professional image here like i didn't use a professional camera to take this picture and i still got a good look at it so this is the final result of the skin retouching technique in photoshop and uh, thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll be able to go along with this and use this for your photos as well and thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and support me i really do appreciate that and um, hope to post more videos and i'll catch you next time on my next video thank you stay blessed and bye bye